rap more to me is not to make it. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. not rapping to get money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not rapping to be like, I'm rapping more so just to give a different perspective for the city. You know? Huh? What you heard? What you heard? Yeah. yeah. What you heard? What you heard, you can hear a motherfucker. Hey, yo, what's up, people? It's your boy Tizzle from Pi Talk by Tizzle. I'm here with King Mac. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, let them know to reach you at, King. All right, Instagram, you can reach me, King Mac 100 OG. Yes, and uh, TikTok is King OG Mac. And then uh, Facebook is just King Mac, one word. For sure. First thing I want to say is that's how you know when a motherfucker taking their music serious when they bring up that TikTok. No, yeah, for real. Yeah, like, we know that's harder for us to get into, you know what I'm saying? We from mm. a different era. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. if you really trying to promote your music and you ain't putting that shit on all platforms, if it ain't, you ain't doing it on TikTok, you got to be playing. No, for real. Because motherfuckers, that shit is running it up, man. Yeah, yeah. So, man, it's nice to meet you. Oh, nice you to meet you, feel me? too, bro. For sure, for sure. Uh, so how long you been doing music, man? Uh... Really, I've been like the idea of music came like 2015. I was a, uh, I was locked up. I had kind of just got out the feds, and then I was in the halfway house, and then I had kind went right back, and then I was in the county. While I was sitting in the county, it was like you just sitting there, and you really got shit to do, you know. And it seemed Boys. like everybody doing the, you know, the rap thing. So it was like yeah. at first it was just something fun, you know, something fun, and it was like man, it's something I could do, you know what I'm saying, and then. You know, you fade off of it, and it's like, nah, I can't really be doing that. It's too many people that's hella good, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So when you start, you kind of get discouraged, because it's like, some of y'all good, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had, like, a couple of cellies that I just sat with, and it was like, they was like, hey, man, you can do this, this, this. And it was kind of like showing me, like, this is how you say it like this, do it like this, or it might be better like this, or mm -hmm. if you try to, you know, make it like this, or this is how I you know, yeah. got better and stuff like that. And it was kind of like learning from niggas and it got to the point where it was like, you know, being able to listen and take, you know, direction. It was like, okay, it's something I could do. And it was a lot of rapping with me. It was a lot more sitting back, you know what I'm saying? than mm -hmm. trying to keep trying to put my, you know, self in people's face. Straight up. You know what I mean? It was like, I know them, you don't really know me. So it was like, I ain't want to put myself in people's face until I was ready. Straight up. Who was the first person that made you feel like you could do this outside of a cell because you know I did some time myself, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But um, everybody being there doing something. You see niggas in there writing books. You know niggas in there writing poetry, mm -hmm. drawing. You know you find out who you really is in that motherfucker. You you find out all your creative genes, nigga. Yo, your ups and downs. Who you really are. So who was the first person that was like that made you feel? Like, I could do this on the street and make a living out of it. Because it's a difference between, you know, hitting your chest in the cell and out here spending your money and your time on it. Mm. I can't really say there is a person because rap more to me is not to make it. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. not rapping to get money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not rapping to be like... I'm rapping more so just to give a different perspective for the city. You know, because I know it's a lot of people that's doing it, you know what I mean? And it might be a lot of more people that might make it before me or do it before me. But, you know, being in the feds, it kind of taught me it was like, people don't know you, you know what I'm saying? And people don't know your city. And it's a lot of dudes that's like, you know, hood niggas too, and niggas that stand on the same thing that you stand on. Okay. And they in <clears throat> different places and they never seen where you come from. Yeah. You know what I mean? And a lot of times, they'll meet somebody that might not, you know what I'm saying, represent your city in the best light. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And exactly. then it's later, they meet you, and then they be like, dang, I ain't Get know. some real niggas out You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know what I mean? So it was yeah. just like, my music is just more so not necessarily to blow up, it's just to give you, like, if somebody was to look into me, you know what I'm saying, it could be like, oh, okay, this is what Vegas is on. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is what it stands for. You know what I mean? And it's cool to me if somebody else blow up and do it. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to where if they blow up and do it, that normally shines a light on everybody else that's doing it. You know that's what I'm saying? Fact. So, you know, when that light do get shown, you know, on Vegas, I want, you know, to be a person that's an example for what I feel like Vegas stands yeah, for. The thoroughness and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. What's your writing process? Do you write? Is you keep it all in the head? And what was it like the first time actually being in the studio for you? Uh me, I at this point it's writing. I got it like yeah. sit and write because you know, you freestyling is cool, you know what I mean? If you yeah. practice and practice and practicing, but 
I just, you know, sometimes I be feeling like sometimes I have so much to say mm -hmm. that it's like it ain't gonna come out in freestyle. You know what I mean? Or if I'm freestyling, might be feeling it, we might not catch it all, or only catch a piece of it, or I don't like this part of it. You know, when I mm -hmm. sit down and write a write it, it's like I could perfect it. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. Hey, it ain't. If I don't like it, it don't get to paper. It don't hit the paper. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I could just keep going over and over and over. It. And then it was like, even with the whole starting the rapping thing, it was like, I wasn't gonna start rapping until I had my own studio. Pay for my own studio so I could sit there and do it in my own way. Mm. I wanna do it in my own process. I don't want nobody to have be to rush me. I don't have to be paying nobody for nothing. I wanna be able to be comfortable doing Straight that. Up. So then when it do come out, you know, and they judge it as me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It wasn't because, oh, because of, or yeah, oh, yeah. because of, you know what I'm saying? It's just this me. I put this out here, this is what it is, I did it. Yeah. It is what it is. And even as a listener, we can tell who's comfortable in the studio. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can tell, like, niggas be talking before the songs or after mm -hmm. the songs. You be like, oh, yeah, this nigga, he comfortable in there. Some people, you could tell they be a little rushed or they be on set time frame. So, you like, they can't really get it all out. You can yeah. tell when it's, like, heartfelt and people really putting their all into it. You know yeah. what I mean? So, you've been... For, I want to talk about the video I remember, too. Mm -hmm. I watched that video, and one thing I love, I love when videos have concepts. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we grew up on. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. We grew up on when videos made sense. Nowadays, you see 40 niggas. They rapping about bitches, but it's 40 mm -hmm. niggas in there. Mm -hmm. A half of a bitch in there. <laughs> they holding their gun upside down. <laughs> talking. Everybody, everybody go register. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, it be crazy when we see that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So when we see you doing a real video, you know what I mean? First off, salute, because we trying to get that back. Oh, it was a lot of artists that couldn't even really rap and they made it because they yeah. the visuals. Right. So what, what's your mindset when you making a video or, you make, or, or the song for that? It's like, it's crazy because like I was in the face and it was like, we used to have like video wars, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Where it would be like, you know, it's a bunch of people you don't know them, they from different places. Yes. So they kind of trying to flex their city. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And the only visual you got other than your paperwork, you know what I'm saying, is rappers. You know what I mean? Yeah, they the one put the videos out. They the one where you could point to this to stove. This to, well, you know, this my grandma house. Oh, nigga, we used to really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So Facts. that'd be how somebody explained to you who they are. Yeah. So normally they attach themselves to a rapper in their city or mm -hmm. from their hood, and that's who they're going to show you. Like, this well, is honey. this my, you know what I'm saying? This is my, this is my, this is my. Yeah. This is my. And it was like, you know, being in there was kind of like, you know, not being a gang member or, you know what I'm saying? It just, being me, it wasn't nobody I could really tap into in Vegas and just be like, this is somebody that explains me. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? This is somebody that explains me. This is somebody that explains how, you know what I mean? So I, I felt mean. like by not having that, you know what I mean? And I felt seeing a big, you know, market in there. It was just, it's so many dudes in there that influence they hoods and they culture, you know what I'm saying? Even though they sitting in jail, I seen, I got to see an influence of somebody from Detroit and how they can call home and they gonna call shots and stuff get moved. Or I'm sitting in the visiting room and I'm seeing dudes coming there with real jewelry on. This is $100,000 type jewelry. This, these diamonds hit a little different, you know what I'm yeah, saying? This facts. stuff look a little different, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And you getting to see like, oh, okay, it's, it's a little more than life, you facts. know what I mean? It's like. It's a lot of people that's, you know, you get a big head complex where it's feel like you're doing so much, you know what I mean? Right. Just because you're moving or you got money or something like that and you don't realize, like, if you're not real and you're not thorough for real, for real, people ain't finna move with you. You right. know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody moving off what you say. I don't care what you do, how big you get, you know what I'm saying? Or what money they done put behind you or what, you know, you know, mm -hmm. engine they done put behind you. If motherfuckers not gonna feel it. If you really from here and you be like, I hear this shit or I, I see this nigga doing this shit. If you know you not like, oh, this, this nigga, this, 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 but he got a star by his name, you know what I'm yeah, saying? You know what I mean, that be my biggest thing. It's like, it be a lot of niggas that's good and talented and shit, but it's like, you be behind the walls and then you gotta, it's embarrassing to try to pull up a nigga and then this nigga mm -hmm. be like, this nigga though, yeah, yeah, this yeah. nigga though, this nigga done did. Yeah. This nigga then, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's like, you know, you, you don't want that. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You like, no, nah, my city represented by somebody that this didn't happen to or yeah. he didn't carry himself this way or right. if this would have happened to me, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. don't, you know what I mean? So it's just like, you kind of, I'm just try to move conscious to where it's like, I don't want to be somebody that represent Vegas and then they be like, but this nigga though. Yeah, but yeah. when he, we seen him at the, or when he was, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Right. I, I just don't want that. So it was like, it's not disrespecting nobody else or anybody else that got, you know, that shit going on. It's just that 
you know, when I was sitting in there, it was just like, I seen how niggas would bring up their videos and it was representing a certain thing. And it was like, they could be this, this, this. I felt like I couldn't do the same thing. See, when we started the podcast, it's crazy you said that because when we started this, like, we could have did our YouTube about rapper that's already made it. Mm -hmm. You know, and we, views, everything would have went up. Let's mm -hmm. talk about Lil Durk them all fucking day. Let's talk about Lil Baby. But I don't have no connection to them. Yeah. I'm not trying to be from 63rd. Mm -hmm. I love when a nigga say Pecos. I love when a nigga say, you know what I'm saying, the stratosphere. Mm -hmm. I love when niggas talk about the strip because this is where I'm from. Mm -hmm. If a nigga tell me I'm riding down Lake Mead and Pecos, I can visualize that. Mm -hmm. I never was impressed from hearing Ninth Ward mm. or none of that shit, mm. you know, or how crazy it is. I'd be like, nigga, it's, you know, it's crazy everywhere, you know, Nick could die 7 Eleven anywhere, you yeah. know what I mean? So when we did the podcast, that's what our thing was. We was like, we got real niggas in our city, mm. you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it was such a popularity test out here that mm. they wasn't shining light on nobody but niggas from their section. Yeah. That was the hardest thing for us. It was like, you know, I'm a Damu, right? Mm. But for us to be able to be like, man, this nigga a crib, but he tight. Mm -hmm. That was the hardest part. But once you get over the, the bullshit, you get grown, it's like, now who really the best? Mm -hmm. Who really talented? Who yeah, really yeah. real? Yeah. You know what I mean? And now, I think that's when we started like catching like wildfire because now it's like, okay, these niggas ain't showing no favoritism. Mm -hmm. Cause like niggas, when we first started, niggas from our hood was like mad. They was like, oh, well, y'all giving these niggas more credit than mm -hmm. us. But it'd be like, this nigga working though. Yeah. He really serious. Like, yeah, what you yeah, want me yeah. to just bring you up here because you my homeboy, nigga, we went to school together. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing nothing with your time, you shouldn't even want me to do, yeah. do that for you. That's like you telling me, oh, nigga, I started coaching in the NFL. you like, remember I played in high school, nigga? Come, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Let me be your quarterback, <laughs> nigga. I, I coached the Raiders, nigga. you like, hey, let me be your quarterback, nigga. We're homeboys. Like, how realistic is that? You know what I'm saying? So I feel exactly what you're saying with, with that. Like, And now the video, videos are having meaning, so... People would really like, like, even in the joint when my partners, like, I answer probably like two prison calls a week, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And when they call at home, they talking about the platform, like, man, you know, I like what y'all doing, you know, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. cause they see what's going on, you know what I mean? And I love that feeling. I love for us to have something that represent us as Vegas because it ain't just these like that strip is really like the smallest part. Yeah, for real. That ain't shit, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, Real niggas in Vegas, if you ain't pimping, you ain't hitting the strip. Nah, for real. Why would we go to the strip? Once you nigga, like, you be infatuated till you turn 21. You yeah, go out there shit. for one, two New Year's, you be like, man, I'm cool on this through, shit. Through First off, they yeah. giving out too much time. Yeah. The drug, they selling all the drugs extra high. Nah, you know what I'm real. saying? So that ain't really the market for us. Mm -hmm. So that's so in the inner city, you know what I'm saying? It's dope. And I love the fact that, like, we know so many people that when nine out of 10 people come in here, if they bring more than two people, I know at least one of them. Because mm -hmm. I'm born and raised here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't did time and everywhere here. Mm -hmm. So play sports here. So it ain't really no way you can miss me and my cousin. No, for we real. ran into you like somehow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And when I heard your music, I'm like, damn, you could feel the passion. You could feel it. You know, you could tell when a nigga like, not just rapping. You could mm -hmm. tell a nigga ain't just up there like, trying to make some shit rhyme. Yeah, for real. Especially for real. when a nigga got something really to say that it might not rhyme. Mm -hmm. And that's what it took for me later in rapping. I'm like, then why that nigga didn't rhyme? Because I thought you used to have to rhyme. Mm -hmm. But some shit just be like, I got to get this shit off my motherfucking chest. No, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how you can tell who can really rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit might not yeah. rhyme. It's just a feeling that you get. You know what I mean? And that, you know, that's like one of the beauties of rap because it's like, you can, you can express yourself your way. You know what I mean? And it's like, if you're really rapping, you're not going to really listen to nobody else's style of rap. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just like, when you hit a beat, it's just you. You know what I'm saying? You feel it, and you just got to try to articulate that shit the way you think it's going to come out. You know what I mean? And it's like, a long time I struggled with how I sound or what it was going to come out like. You know what I mean? And it took, you know, good people around you to be like, no, nah, that's cool. Or keep going with that. Or, you know, you can say it this way. You can do this. Or I don't know about that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to where it was like when stuff actually do get put out, it's like you can be proud of it. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, what it do. You know what I mean? If it do good, it do bad or whatever. You proud of your work because it's like I ain't put no bullshit out in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? Right. When I listen to it, it's cool. You know what I mean? If everybody else don't relate to it, that's cool. But it's like the people I fuck with relate to it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like it got to mean something. You know what I mean? Like since, you, since we've been in here, right? Mm -hmm. You've been here probably 15 minutes. When they played your, when you played your song, he knew your lyrics. Mm -hmm. 
Rooster knew your lyrics. Mm-hmm. And I told you, Shorty, she knew every fucking nah, one of your shit. You feel me? <laughs> and that's who really supposed to understand your shit, mm-hmm. the people around you. Mm-hmm. I watch video, man. Like, our job is to watch videos. And mm-hmm. if you ever get a chance to watch a video, you look in the background, them niggas don't be knowing they homies' words. Nah. <laughs> like, and them niggas that get on stage with their homies, they'll be 30 deep, nigga. Why you the only one rapping? Get you a hype man. Yeah. You know? Why are you on stage with me if you're not contributing nothing? Nah, not even good really. energy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you want to get some pussy out there? Yeah. You know what I mean? We see niggas on stage 30 deep, and he run out of breath. You supposed to have a nigga catching that. Yeah. We used to perform, like, we used to sing Michael Jackson, me and my little brothers. Look, I'm gonna run out of breath right here, nigga. I'm gonna need you to catch it. You feel me? You know, you learned that as a kid. You know what I'm saying? We rapping Jay-Z or Pac, nigga, like, I'm gonna run out of breath around this area. You pick me up, nigga, and I'm gonna get back in there. And it's like, that concept, it's like people be so into the studio part that yeah. they don't be realizing you really getting paid from the performances. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like they got to get that whole package. And with you having people around you that know your lyrics, yeah. you're doing it right. Because if a person not feeling you, they not feeling you, you mm-hmm. can't fake it. Mm-hmm. You can't fake If you don't like some kind of music, nigga, music is one thing that you can't fake. If I don't like your music, mm-hmm. I don't know your music. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you ain't on the radio. The radio will make you know some shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to play it over and over and over. Yeah. But if you just a... A regular oh, motherfucker, shit. they will never know your shit. Yeah. I don't care how much they're around you. No, because it, when somebody telling you something you don't want to hear, mm-hmm. we know how to block it out. It's like kids. Your kids could be calling your name, nigga, after a while. You, yeah. you won't hear that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it is, bro. So you definitely doing something right. And I look for shit like that. I be looking like, okay, damn. His homies know his shit, you feel me? And you can tell, like, who believe in you, you know? Yeah. And as, as speaking on that, how does it feel having that kind of support system, people around you who, you know, we, we rehearse your lines with you and let you know what's right and wrong or that I don't like that or that's dope. How's that feeling? Or people that even believe in you? Uh, it's like, it's the best feeling because that, like, the validation that you doing something right. That's right. Not on no rap stuff, just as you as a person. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like, if somebody going to sit with you and repeat and rap your rhymes and stuff, it's because they know that's real. You know what I mean? Fact. So it's like, you got people, you know, that might be in the studio and, you know, you're doing your thing. And it's like, you got to build your team. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. how you want your team to be. And your team kind of got to reflect you. You know what I mean? I think right. sometimes people build their team off of clout. You know what I mean? I'm going to mm-hmm. align myself with him because he can do this for me. I'm going to align myself with him. He can do this. I'm going align myself with her because she can do this. Wow. You know what I mean? And then next thing you know, you got a bunch of people around you and we all using each other. Facts and drivers. You know what I mean? So if everybody running around using each other, when it's one person's time to do their thing or it's time for them to shine, you know what I mean? Everybody else ain't better to play the background because it's like, mm-hmm. I got a business too. Yeah. I got the podcast too. I got the what's the name too. I got yeah. the clothes too. Why? You know what I'm saying? So while you on stage rapping, only way they're going to be happy is if you shout out the clothes, to this, to this, yeah. to this, and then start rapping. You do all of that first, get me out the way, then yeah. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? And Why? it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a lot of people's relationship. I you know what I mean? And me, you know, the people around me is people that's just been around me forever. They see me mess up. You know what I'm saying? They see me change. They see me when I was what I was before. Yeah. They see me to what I am today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the whole me rapping thing is a understanding of your growth. You know what I mean? Where we uh-huh. can sit down, we can have conversations. You know what I'm saying? They help me with things. I help them with things. And we all grow together. You know what I mean? So when that music is coming out, that is all of us, you know what I mean? That's yeah. all, that's all of our growth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's his experience, his experience, her experience. Yeah, we'll that's everybody's stuff jumbled into me because I'm, I'm the voice for it. Straight up. They be checking other niggas, they ain't checking mine. My niggas doing fine. We done with that time. Emotionally, I'm fucked up, but I stay on my grind for real. I remember, I remember, you remember. I remember, I remember, you remember. So when you look back, right? Mm-hmm. When you look back like 10 years ago, you mm-hmm. feel me? I know you probably never seen yourself doing music, right? Yeah. How much how much has changed in your mindset since then? From the way you move, the way you articulate yourself, the way you think? Mm-hmm. A lot, because 10 years ago, I was just trying to prove myself. You know what I'm saying? I felt like, oh, I'm from Vegas, and I felt like the West Coast culture is game bang. I mm-hmm. felt like since I didn't choose that route, had to do more. You know what I mean? Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing dudes that's like, you getting, you know, I'm at this time it's like false pride, so it's like, I'm seeing niggas getting recognition for shit 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I felt like this ain't real shit, you know what I'm saying? But just because he from over here, they love him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or just from me over here, they love him. And it's like, really, you piggybacking off the successes of other niggas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. You putting something on your name, you know what I mean? And it's the back of other niggas, you know what I'm yeah. saying? A lot of people done put in work for certain shit, you know what I'm saying? And other niggas is living off the back of other niggas, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And it's like, they getting a real nigga stamp off of that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's like, you real because I know 10 niggas from your neighborhood that's real. <laughs> for real. You know what I mean? Oh, so man. you get the stamp. You know I know, what I, mean? I know such and such. You know what I mean? And it's like, you gonna get the stamp. And yeah. it was like, with me not being from nowhere, it wasn't ever I could get that stamp. You right. know what I'm saying? So it was like, I gotta prove myself to you from who I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was like, it. It was a lot of shit I had to do was different. So 10 years ago, it's just me running around trying to prove every. You know what I'm saying? I'm always, yeah. let me do this more. Let me be this. Let me do this, this, this. To, to where out. it was to a point where I had to check my ego and park my shit and be like, this shit bigger than me, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I ain't gonna get nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Thinking that I'm better than people or bigger than people. Why? It just ain't no way. It's just that I know I need people in order for me to be big. Yeah. So how I'm gonna shit on people Man, in that's, the process. And a lot of people do that. And it's crazy that you said that, cause like I went through that phase like a motherfucker trying to prove it. It's because all my cousins and shit, they was all reputable. So I never used to even want to tell nobody who I was related to. Yeah. I want you to respect me and fuck with me on me. You yeah. know what I mean? I didn't want you to be like, oh, I dropped this name and then, oh, man, we cool now. Mm-hmm. Nah, like, bring it to me how you was going to bring it to me anyways. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel you on that 100%, right. right? So, like, when you first came home, what was that transition like being back on the street? And how, how long was you go? Mm, I, all together, I done did 10 and a half years. Damn. So I done did, like, I done did, like, three years and got out for a year. Went back there three years, got out for 60 days, went back there four years, got out for eight, nine months, went back for a year and a day, you know, and this is now me being out two years from okay. all of that. Well, congratulations on that. Salute to that, man. Uh, I know how that shit sure. go. Yeah. How, how much did things change? Because you wasn't out, like, for an extended time. Mm-hmm. Like, like, I did um, I did a year, mm-hmm. and then I... I stayed on house rest for two years and then I did seven and a half. So I basically mm-hmm. did like damn near 11 mm-hmm. straight because I was in the house the whole time. And I remember when I came home, man, the most crazy thing to me was like, we was on our way to the club, you know. First off, everybody became pimps. Mm-hmm. That was crazy to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We was players, you know what I'm saying? Niggas no, was just real, players. Real. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. real. A bitch wouldn't even tell you she was a stripper. You had to find out the hard way. Oh, no. Now it's like, I'm a hoe yeah. over here in the back, you know yeah. what I mean? But um, first thing, everybody was pimps. I'm out going. I'm going out one day, and you know we didn't take pictures like yeah. that. You know what I mean? That's why, like, you look back. We took pictures like for school and shit. Nah, but niggas didn't take pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And was I was heading adjusted. out with my partners, and my nigga handed his girl his phone and was like, "Hey, take a picture of me, baby." Mm. I thought the nigga was gay. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. It was it weird. Seemed like it. Yeah, yeah. That's the new. Thing. It fucked me up. Yeah. Like. Now, I went home and told my mama, nigga, mm-hmm. like, mama, man, like, I think buddy gay. Like, <laughs> cause like, you know, back in the day, a woman might, mm-hmm. yeah. take, I'm looking good tonight, flick me up. Mm-hmm. That nigga gave oh. his girl the phone. <laughs> like, she couldn't even get a picture. He like, yeah. take a picture of me, you know? So I know that, tr- when I came home, seeing how everybody wanted to post everything, like, niggas wake up, I ate, gr- I ate grits this morning. It be like, what's going on? Like, yeah. I even still, even with the social media shit, like, and this media shit, like, my cousin was telling me, you need to get on it, get on it, get on it, you know what I'm saying? It was so hard for me to get on the camera, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. because it was like, damn, like, you know, it's so much shit that didn't happen around a nigga or, you yeah. know, it was hella hard. So what was it like for you? And like, especially being in front of cameras now, you're gonna be rapping, you know? Cause being a rapper right now, the that most dangerous job, nigga. No, like, you yeah, putting yeah, a target yeah, on you right now. Yeah. And you icy, that's already a target. You're a black man, you icy, you know yeah. what I mean? So like, wh- like what, where where that come from? And like, what kind of challenges you think you're gonna face as far as with that? Uh, you know, it's like, when you know how you like growing up, right? If you really like, immerse yourself into the streets, you go through different phases of life. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So it's like, most people, if you really, really just doing street shit, you done been to points where you done robbed people, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Or you done try to do what you could to get, you chasing that false dream. You right. know what I'm saying? I want this jewelry, I want all of these things. So when you're young, you don't know how to get it. You know what I mean? So you're gonna do whatever you, you can to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, 
growing up, when I was at the worst of the worst of my worst, you know what I'm saying? When I was like, anybody, I could do this, 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 or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was still niggas I respected. In fact. You know what I'm saying? It was still niggas I'm not finna take his chain. Yeah. It's niggas I know I'm not finna touch him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. And it's just because of how they move. Niggas respect that person and say, that's not somebody you rob. You rob, that might come with consequences. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, So it's just like, to me, I be feeling like as long as you, you do for your city and you do for, you know, the people around you. That's right. You good. You know what I mean? And then, like, with life, too, you can't worry about shit like that. You know what I mean? If you yeah. run around trying to protect yourself from something that ain't happening, mm -hmm. you living in fear. You know what I mean? And I, that's just, I can't move like that, especially being in places where I felt like at some point in time you're thinking your life over. Or you're sitting somewhere thinking you too, you getting too old for Or mm -hmm. the shit is passing you by and you're like, I don't know what the... And you just in helpless situations. So, like, when you do finally arrive, it's like, I'm going to... You got to take, like, control of all of this shit. And you right. can't be dictated off other people. And another thing, like, game banging culture was so big. Mm -hmm. How was you able to avoid it? That's like another thing. How was you able to avoid? I know you have mm -hmm. ample opportunities to be a part of anything. You know, people accept them or whoever. Big Bird could join the gang if nah, you want to. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So how was you able to stay away from that shit and just, you know, and still, you know, be in the streets? It's crazy because I'm, I'm probably one of the few people that was majority just raised by my dad more than my mom. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was like, you know, my, you know, my street fam more is my mom's side. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it was like I had a dad that came and, you know, it was kind of like, I'll take you out to the streets. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shout it out was to like, Pops, man, for sure. But, you know, it's like I'm still visiting the streets. You know what I'm saying? I still mm -hmm. got to go see moms. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm getting both sides of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're getting them talks from Pops that's like, hey, you want to make your own decisions. You want to be your own man. But, you know, you're still getting them influences uh, over there with moms where it's like I'm still hanging around gangbangers. I'm still saying this mm -hmm. and this. I'm still, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm going through the most of doing everything everybody else doing you know what i'm saying it's just that sometimes i'm at the wall in that wreck you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying sometimes we over here and we might be over here by the donut shop yeah. you know what i mean sometimes I, you know what i mean yeah. i didn't have a set place to be sometimes so it was like sometimes i'm over here so i might be kicking it with the group of these niggas yeah. sometime over here i might be cooking it with the group of these niggas so it was like Moms might be over here at this time, so we might be over here. She might bounce over here. You might have to run over here. You might kick it with the kids over here. So mm -hmm. when you're growing up, you're just kicking it with kids. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And then if we all growing up, you know what I mean? Yeah. You start to see it. If I don't see them for four or five months, I might come back and hear blood. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? If I don't get at this, because we 10, 12, you know what I'm yeah. saying? These are these times you're seeing these people. These is when people are making these decisions. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And you got a people. I'm still going to Pop's house. Yeah. So when I come back, I might not see him for a minute. So he come back, he blood. We still cool. Yeah, we you know what I'm saying? But that don't mean I just jump and do what he was doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And oh boy, he come back here crib and shit. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But I can't really just jump because I'm not here. I'm not over here all the Enough, time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I can't do that. You know what I mean? Like how I'm going to do that when you only see me two days. You know what I'm saying? Or you yeah. might only see me three days. You might see me one day. For you sure. might not see me for two weeks. You know what I'm saying? So it was like I ain't had an opportunity because of that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Wow. First, shout out to the one in the wreck, man. For sure. no, for that, real, that, real. that raised the nigga, man. I remember when that motherfucker was a portable. They used to give us the Lunchables, bullshit. nigga. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you know for real, for man. With the little bro. basketball <laughs> thing. <laughs> they raised us, nigga. I was living in Spring Point. They promised mm -hmm. that they were going to build a rec yeah. center, nigga, for like mm -hmm. three years. Nah, for real. I tell yeah. niggas all the time, that's why I kick ass yeah. in the pool. Because nah, we didn't have a basketball court yeah. at first. We had pool yeah. table, bumper yeah. pools. Yeah. Ping pong and shit like that, man. So yeah, shout out man, to the wreck. You know, like show. the wreck so small it became the Riata apartments and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. That became yeah. playgrounds and shit. Right. <laughs> his, play, his apartments was playgrounds. Oh man. <laughs> the wreck centers is a motherfucker. Yeah. They help out they help out the community, oh, man. Get nigga real, sports real. right, man. Nigga nigga pride in them fake Jews lynch him. Nigga nigga hide at them dark rules bitch him. Why you nigga stars in the courtroom snitching? Eyes wide, mouth closed, watching for you niggas. Hit my phone, dial tone, fuck what you pitching. Every little step I take. That's it. It ain't really nothing else to that. I don't know nothing else but jail in Vegas. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's like ain't nothing I could really else talk about other than being in jail, meeting the people I done met in jail, and being in Las Vegas and being out these, you know, couple years. You know, I done traveled and went places and I got, you know, roots in Mississippi and stuff like that mm -hmm. too. But it's like, yeah, me too. you know, Las Vegas, like, you know, that's what I know. How many, uh, how many tracks is it? It's um, going to be 10 again. Any features? Nah. 
Oh, yeah, this you one. say you hungry? Yeah, not nah, this. Yeah, well, nigga, nigga got so much to this say. This time, yeah, this, you know, the first one I put out because you know my intentions wasn't really to rap. It was more so I wanted to take a a, a master peer approach. I just wanted to sit back and kind of let other people do the rapping. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that was going, you know, hey, you could do it, you could do it, come put a studio, you do it, you do it. But it just kept falling through with so many, like, you know, <laughs> but I don't think they realize how big it is. Like, these young young dudes hungry out here too. So yeah. it's like, a robbery case is, is, is right around the corner for a motherfucker as soon as you run out so many. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So that's, it's just certain shit just kept happening to where it was like, dang, you can't, you're trying to put money behind somebody that's still trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? Money. So it's like, it's like, dang, I got to do it because yeah. I ain't, I you know what I mean? I, I, I know what's up. You know what I mean? I can see the future in it. You know what I'm saying? Or I can see where it's going to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? You really can't do that for other people. You know what I mean? You try that's to see the future for them, but it, it's up to them to mature and yeah. get to where they want to be. Sometimes we see something in people that they don't see in their self yet. No, nah, for real. Yeah, some for real, real shit. That's like investing. You will like a GM, you trying to invest into an injured player. Like, man, I don't even know if this nigga gonna come yeah, back. You really want to drop him not be right million? back after that nigga <laughs> yeah. injury. Yeah. yeah, that's a real, real shit. Real. Uh, me, you, how many videos you thinking about doing to it? All of them? Cause you already got a couple of them out. Yeah, I just, uh, probably three, four. It just uh, more so it depend on feedback. You know, feedback. you know, we do a video and then it's like everybody we just vibe in the video and then from how the video go we like we should do the other video like i'll play songs there or whatever and then whatever everybody might be rapping hard we do a video to that because you know yeah. I, I to me I ain't really no real structure like the business plan you know I mean? for it is not like man i'm trying to do this to get this to get this to get this to get this it's like i already kind of got a layout of what my life do you know what i'm saying like this is how i make my money i'm gonna do it this way this way this way this is how i take care of my family and this the rapping is just more so it's fun That's this therapy. is just this is you know it, this is cool it's like cool it's cool to talk to you know people like you it's cool to you know just you know, meet new people and, and to see people doing positive stuff, you know what I mean? And it's like entertainment's like the biggest thing, you know, everybody, you know, is in front of the camera. Everybody is trying to put on for their city. Everybody, you know, is trying to get they message heard, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you see somebody else doing something, it's the era now where if you see somebody else doing something, it's just like, oh, I could do it too, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what is going on now, so it's yeah. like, a big ass pot of competition and it's like you could jump into the thing of competition you know what i'm saying or you just stay in your own way you know what you're gonna but you're gonna find out real fast though mm -hmm. the more you try to sit back mm -hmm. the more the game gonna pull you towards it no that's you already know nah, that's that's like, true. you that's rapping true. right now you that's didn't have true. no plan no, that's so start true. thinking about it <laughs> no, for real, nah, for real. i it, know i know that's the, true. the niggas who really be blowing be the ones who mm -hmm. didn't want to do it mm -hmm. like not really didn't want to but mm -hmm. they just looking at like I don't need nothing from the game. Mm -hmm. I just want to get this shit out there. You yeah. feel me? The game right now, especially in Vegas, motherfuckers mm -hmm. is going to feel your realness and people are going to gravitate towards you. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, only advice I'll say is get your plan together, get your prices right, mm -hmm. because you're going to be getting on features and all that shit. You know, we got a pretty big following. People yeah. going to tap in and see what's going on That's and then have something to say to them. Yeah, you know what yeah, You can't yeah. just be like, hey man, I don't know. I really kind of want to rap. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's not the kind. I want, I want to rap. But it's just, I like, honestly, it's just, you. I'm coming from that jail culture, I did a lot of time. So it's hard. You know what I'm saying? But they rapping your life. Yeah, so but why, they going to want you around. That's Bro. what I'm saying. But it's that's easy so to meet cool. somebody like you because it's yeah. like, okay, we done we been, been through. Like, you know what I mean? So you can see, recognize, okay, go move. We. You know what I mean? But some people ain't been through that. Or they yeah. just like, you know, some niggas just young and wild, ain't yeah. touched the jail yet, but they still with the shit. Yeah. But it's like, man, I know that energy. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know. They're going to be hitting you, though. Because <laughs> listen, bro, if you the, re like, yeah. if you the real deal, yeah. like, I always tell people, a nigga can stand next to me mm -hmm. with 20 million. Yeah. But as long as I'm real, mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to look different. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'ma look different. Mm -hmm. Fake shit, Gucci. Mm -hmm. We both got our Gucci shirt. Is mine fake? Yeah. If I got on all the drill with a fake Gucci shirt, yours mm -hmm. still gonna look different. Yeah. So you don't. They gonna want to be around you. Yeah. So like, they they gonna want. They want. Basically, they want that stamp. Yeah. You could never know a nigga. Mm -hmm. He gonna want that feature just to say, "See, if he a real nigga, man. Now mm -hmm. I'm a real nigga by association." Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's how, that's how the game go in this yeah. shit, you feel me? The people who really don't have no intentions to do it, that be the one who the game pull in, yeah. man, every time. 
You feel me? But that's cool. Like, but yeah. see, I look. I'm just saying, like, more towards the articulated this way. It's like when I started, when I was, you know, hella young, and we started doing a little jail shit and getting out and figuring out who you are and stuff like that. It was like I started a nigga going in there not having no real structure, not knowing mm -hmm. what to do. You know what I'm saying? And then it became the motherfucker that was able to listen and, you know, take lead of somebody else that might know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Then it became the person that now I'm giving the direction to, you know, younger niggas on what to do, how to do this. Don't, you know, do this. Man, you got this issue with your girl. Man, talk to her like this. See what this is. Man, read this book. Go on, do this and this and this and this. So it's like, even with the rap, yeah. I get everything with rap Where yeah. it's like If you the one You got it You know what I'm saying But I don't look at that You know what I'm saying I look at it as We gonna rap together We gotta have the same understanding If you out there Shooting, popping And killing shit And shit And that's the life That you live That's cool You know yeah. what I'm saying I don't live that life no more. I don't do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? What we doing over here, we rapping, we enjoying life. And we, you know what I'm saying, reaping the benefits of done all that time and yeah. did all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So sure. I always want to meet a nigga. I don't want you. you don't, I don't want how, I'm not trying to prove myself to you. I don't want you to try to prove yourself to me. So if we do collaborate on some music shit, you know what I'm saying? Let's put that beat on and just go with what we feel. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You rap your life, I'm gonna rap my life. Whatever we come together and we put together is gonna be like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't wanna be, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna meet a nigga and we get to war story. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Or we got to prove this or who you know or yeah. where you done did. You know what I'm saying? I, I Like, just let's just meet up genuine. This is, you know what I'm saying? Music shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. No, no worries. You know what I'm saying? Because that part of the shit is where it's going to always get misconstrued because if somebody is trying to bring that to you and that's the energy they bring it, it's already a competition. Oh, facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And I be feeling like if we're going to do something, we, it's always just, it got to be music. You know what I'm saying? If you do the podcast, I come, I'm in your lane, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the respect. You know what I'm saying? I think motherfuckers should give. So it's just like, I think it gets fucked up, you know what I'm saying, sometimes with the way people live their lives, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just because I'm out here living my life and I got my ops and I got my problems and shit, and it's sometimes it's like people bring that energy to them, you know what I'm saying? Even when they trying to make a living and shit for their kids and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got my own problems with niggas and shit like that. It's niggas out here that might be trying to get me and do shit to me, you know what I'm saying? And another nigga hear his raps, you know what I'm saying? And hear what he got going on in his life and try to bring that energy too, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Where I gotta be like, nigga, I keep guns too, I shoot shit too, I bust niggas' heads too, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, nah, we ain't, we ain't on that. We ain't on that. I got my own problems. That's why I rap this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You got your own problems, you why you rap that shit. Yeah. And when we come together, we're gonna rap about our shit. How you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can relate to that shit on the song though. On the song. Yeah, I feel you on that, bro. For real, for real. Yeah, man, niggas definitely do be telling the war story. Man, man. You know what I'm saying? So, man. My man, thanks for coming by, man. No, you know what I'm man. saying? Before we get out of here, we got mm -hmm. this segment called Game for Lames. Mm -hmm. Let the people know some game you acquired in life that you feel help you die some bullshit. I always say everything that glitter ain't gold. All right. Mine is look at yourself before you try to look at somebody else for any problem you got in your life. You broke, you you your job, your your kids, your your mama, your daddy, your this happened to me, this, this, this. Look at yourself and see what you doing, what you got going on with yourself first before you get to pointing the finger, blaming, or saying anything about anybody else. Cause Shut if you up. good with yourself, it's easy as fuck to navigate around the world and fuck with everybody else. Money, man. Oh. For sure, for sure. Hey, thanks for sliding by, man. Nah, Great nah, conversation. For sure, for I'm sure. for sure we're going to see you again. Yeah, yeah. For sure. With that being said, man, this is Pie Talk by Tizzle. Mm. We up out of here. All right. I go hard for this. How the fuck you winning if you lost to this? Niggas think they own so they get off in this. It's easy to get cross to this. On, on, on T.O.P., we gon' get far from this. Step up in they town and burn it down like I'm a horse.